jury had eight hours today of liberation, which they still didn't come to reaching a verdict. So they're deadlocked as a jury going into the weekend, which meaning that they're gonna be locked into hotels, no TVs, no phones, no nothing, you know, until Monday, until they can reach an agreement. I figured this is probably gonna end up happening because it's just so much more that needs to be proven. You know, it's a lot of evidence that's still out there, a lot of questions that the jury is concerned about. Um, you know, it's been reported that some of them have to have chairs sitting in between one another because they kind of frustrated and, you know, mad with each other, I guess, upon of what their decisions are that are holding them up as still liberating. So uh, one of the main things that the jury had requested today from the uh, prosecutor was they wanted testimony so they basically had the uh typologist or whatever you want to call them they were sitting up there you know basically rereading what they had typed as far as fetty fargo's testimony aka travion glass the guy that was riding in the red mitsubishi that was first testimony on the state side and i knew it was going to be a lot of question with that because you know i i said this before and in the comments as well you know you know the state they came with all this hardcore evidence and it's 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 good cold hard evidence um uh, as far as the text messages it's a lot of you know speculation as far as you know what the context actually was but you know one of the main things like i say travion glass said he was asleep said uh you know you can see the security footage of them pulling up to the gated community that ynw melly was living in and you ask yourself the question okay this is a gated community it's three or four o'clock in the morning and you got four black men in a car saying that they want to go to a high profile celebrity slash entertainers house and i'm sure that melly's not the only high profile entertainer actor or whatever you know that's of that status that lives in that community so why would a security guard that's securing a gate of a community of such let four men that don't own the house don't pay any bills in a community without someone that is on paper to live there or the actual you know some some kind of um validation that you know this is where you're going and these are the people this is whose house it is you know i just can't see him letting them in the gate saying oh well this is four of us we stay at melly house and we finna go we want to go to the house you know i just can't see them letting them through the gate without melly being with them and that's one of the things that you know the juries they want to hear that testimony over again to um kind of connect and put things together because the speculation is if melly got dropped off out of the the jeep into the red mitsubishi then me thinking that the guys that was driving they would have saw the jeep if the shooting happened before melly got dropped off to them they would have seen the car riddled in bullets and they would have knew that hey y'all just got in the drive-by boiling probably finna go take them to the hospital and they possibly could have staged this whole thing and everybody could have knew that's a possibility but it's also a possibility that what happened or what they're speculating that happened actually happened he got out of the car got in the car with them and they went home i don't see how these four men got in this security gate at this time of morning going to this certain status of a person's house without them being in the car i don't even see the security letting Portland through the gate without millie even though they said millie uh port Portland had keys Melly and Borden was the only people who reportedly had keys according to AD when he testified. So I, I still, I just can't see that. Y'all know how these apartments, gated communities, y'all know how they is. They ain't just letting old, any, any old body through. Especially if it's somebody like Melly living over there. Or anybody of his status. That's just real. So it's speculation of that. And, um, you know, like I say, it very well could have happened that, you know, he got in their car and they went home and they found out that they had got into a drive-by afterwards if the drive-by took place after Melly got into the car and was dropped off with them in the red Mitsubishi. You know, and it's still speculation of, you know, why would you call Fredo Bang? Who made the calls to Fredo Bang? The FaceTime uh, calls, you know, all this stuff is still into consideration. 
and the jury just have they they, they speculated upon question of the investigation because when you look at the state side of things as far as their investigation they noted that they came back and found those shell casings three years later and i'm thinking to myself i'm like do you know how many storms florida go through not just in three years but just a, a hurricane season alone not hurricanes but just tropical storms just at that so there's no telling in all the things that could have took place and happened in between that time you know how do you come up with you found shell casings three years later i just it, it's just the, the investigation is so many if the investigation was a boat that bitch would have been sunk and turned over in the water because it's so many holes in it as far as the investigation it was poorly investigated if you ask me on the state side i feel like they should have went and got the security guard they should have went and got um got him to testify or at least to give him a uh, make him um uh, give some kind of statement for clarity to show that hey these four guys was here i let them through the gate and so and so was with them or so and so wasn't with them because best believe if they were saying that they wanted to go to Melly's house and he wasn't with them or was with them. That security guard know. Trust me. That security guard, he know. He know who YNW Melly is. You live in the state of Florida, you know who he is. That's bottom line. So that right there questions me. I'm like, why wouldn't they get him? Why wouldn't they investigate him? And you got possibly this other guy that supposedly should be the could be the shooter that sent text messages saying we already got both of y'all you already got two of y'all and you know and, and some emojis you know this is just what's reported so you know like i say it's a lot of question and if like i told y'all before in my recent video i still have some reason to doubt myself because of it's just so much that's just like okay how did you get this why didn't you do this but you saying you got this you know according to the state side you know and you know the defense side as well you know, you got um, Y&W uh, Melly's mom, you know, confirming that the cell phone was his. You know, they got uh, cell phone uh, step steps, you know, that they're recording of how many steps was taken from Melly. Well, how many steps according to the phone that was taken after um, he had made the, the FaceTime call or before he made the FaceTime call. You know, so all of that is in speculation as far as evidence and um that's that's pretty pretty profound too on as far as the evidence side and uh like i say y'all we're gonna see what's gonna happen let me know what y'all think we got a hung jury do you think he's gonna be guilty innocent you know uh it's up in the air right now it's definitely up in the air right now and i told y'all it was gonna be one of them things and i still don't think that they're gonna be able to come to an agreement by monday after monday i don't think they will be you know, I still think it's a lot more that they're going to ask to be brought forth for them to look into um, to make a determination. So, yeah, man, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.